Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return for having. When a man wakes up another morning to find more and more of his religious beard removed from his face by some molesting bastard of Satan who does not regard religion, family, or faith in any way or any concept of spirituality, you have to wonder where the police force are who are supposed to be driving through the community protecting us from the walkers and stalkers of the community. What you see is a total dereliction of duty, an absolute attack on a man's life, and a lie that's been told that says, I have rights to lord over you despite how many times you've said, stop fucking touching me in the night. The liars of America are exactly like that. It doesn't matter if you have said no. It doesn't matter if you've said stop. It doesn't matter if you said, please don't do this. It doesn't matter if you've said, leave my life alone. It doesn't matter if you've said, you're going to leave me alone. It doesn't matter if you've told them to stop whatever the fuck they're thinking, whatever the fuck they're doing, whatever they think is okay for them to do under their version of power or authority. But the reality is that a person's body does not belong to a community of any type of people. An individual has rights to express themselves for their God as any person does of any religion and any priesthood around the world. I have said this many times that the perpetrators of hate crimes often get away with it because their friends are in the police force encouraging it. When people think they have the right to abuse someone's body, cut their private parts, or destroy relationships, it's not only time to defund the police, it's time to kill the police. I am not someone that is proposing that. What I'm saying is that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior for the, anyone who believes allegedly in Christendom, understood that a police officer or centurion of the day was not only giving the whipping blows to Christ's body, he actually pierced his skin, nailed him to the cross, and killed him. Now, who did he do that on behalf of? His Lord of the day? His government official of the day? His king or queen or prince or pauper, whatever the hell they were of the day? I'm not an expert in Bible lore, but I do know the facts of life. The facts of life is that my body belongs to me. Your body belongs to you. The minute you cross the line and start to act like you have control over someone else's body, you've just become a bastard massa of the world. Do you even know that word? Do you even remember what we were required to watch as children of the film Roots? Do you have any concept of your heritage and how far we've come? Or are you a shitbag child, a student with a game, who's coming from a foreign country that is playing totally lame. When I make these little rhymes, as I always say, it's not to make up any audio time, it's to remind you who the fuck you think you are. Because whoever the fuck you think you are is a coward. Because only a coward plays in the shadows. Only a coward walks by night. Only a coward never admits what he does at all, because he's just that, a coward. Usually a fat white man, an older man of privilege, or some little young black bitch who's 20 who doesn't know what her heritage is. But I can only say those things based on experience of dealing with the homeless community. That a white man is never a toy to anyone is absolute truth. A white person in America still has some form of immunity. And what I mean is not that we have privilege, not that we have power, but a person who is being abused is still a person being abused. A person being sexually assaulted by someone is still being sexually assaulted by a perpetrator, a predator, predator and an asshole of no god lore. No person who is pagan would participate in such abuse. No person who is truly Wiccan, who loves the principles of Wiccanism, would do something so loose. And no person of a real faith of any kind that's founding our forefathers or was founded by our forefathers 
in this nation would participate in this. But there are liars in every community. There are stalkers who are, well, not happy with me. And openly, I might be able to joke to try to take away the rage, but there is not enough time in this world to now take away my rage at the people who failed to recognize the laws of our world.